Hi, I'm Brad Cox with BradCox.com, Celebrity Style Imaging. And I have one more book to show you. I just made another video of the first album. I have another video to show you. Uh, if you want to know why I'm different, how I'm different, that first video has me talking about that a little bit. But I guess the big thing is my specialty is exquisite lighting and emotion. Uh, I'm a master photographer about 10 times over, uh, one of the only ones around. And my specialty isn't creating boring images, and it's not creating these crazy candid images that have no technique. It's how can you bring those two worlds together? How can you create things that are both technically beautiful that you're going to love in 20 years still, and also create something that's fun that I love today that maybe has uh, like a hip feel, a, a trendy feel, but isn't so trendy it's going to go out of style. How do you bring those two things together and create images that have emotion but are so beautiful and exquisite that you'll love them, your parents will love them, people will want to get nice, beautiful prints for their wall. And at the same time too, right when people are comparing books and you want to, <laughs> and they go, I just got married, I just got married, right, you're going to love your images in comparison to what everybody else gets. So again, all my albums come in a nice, beautiful briefcase. That's just to protect it and to help you transport it, carry it to work, show your friends, but also helps just protect in this case, we got a metal cover again. Just protect the metal cover from getting scratched if you like, want to have it on a table or something like that. So I love this cover here. This one here is the couple out in front of the temple. And when we open this book here, this was a really hot day, about 106 degrees. So I shot some infrared of the temple, and that's why we got that nice, killer, snappy contrast, that dark sky and all the architecture just snappy. And, of course, their names... And we start out of them coming out of the temple. So here they are coming out, the big crowd welcoming them. And then, right, we got to take them over to the steps, and we're, we're kind of waiting. It's a very busy temple. I don't know if you're familiar with this area, but it's very busy, a lot of weddings. So while we're waiting, a really just fun, casual portrait of the two of them right here. Now, the stuff on the steps. One nice, classic, gorgeous image of everybody smiling, everybody looking at the camera. So we have everybody's faces clear, sharp, good skin tones of everybody there. While at the same time, we have some fun ones here. The couple coming down the steps, kissing in between everybody. And then focusing on the couple, because uh, we're going to do family portraits before the reception starts. So instead of just shooting tons and tons of family groups on the steps and having a whole bunch of images that look exactly the same, it makes for a very boring album. <laughs> so no. We're going to shoot some really pretty couple stuff here, and we're going to move on to other beautiful places, depending on the time of day. So, I love this trio. Again, none of this is like auto-designed with some software. This is something that I work on painstakingly every page for some time. And the idea is to keep it simple, keep it powerful, but also tell the story and keep the story moving and make sure that every page works well together. And I love this. Full page spreads. It's just powerful, just fills that page. Walking down the steps, big kiss. Two more full page spreads, big kiss, looking at each other, just really just nice, gorgeous, romantic images. And again, no matter what time of day, whether we're in shade, out in the sun, inside, outside, you'll notice they always have good skin tones. They always have good snappy contrast. They always look sharp, they look clear, and they have good light in their eyes, and they have good expression. <laughs> and it's not by accident. I'm not just shooting a gazillion images hoping to get something good. This is what just happens from years and years of experience. All right, so we've got really fun images of them sitting and relaxing. One great big image here with the temple behind them. Nice, beautiful dip. Very dramatic. Then a new location. I like these two images here, kind of a pose. Two long images, similar colors. But it's uh, we're kissing here and we're moving to the next spot here. And here's a nice close up and then walking kind of in between in the middle. And we're moving to this spot right here, one of my favorite spreads of the whole book. Nice big horizontal beautiful spread, the swoop here of her veil. Beautiful. And it is really powerful to have that as a double page spread. When you're looking at this book and you turn this, you start to see the couple like this and that just continues all the way across. Just whew, awesome. Okay. So then, before the reception starts, a few more images of them out in front of the temple here. Black and white. I love the swishing of the veil. She had such a nice long veil. It was just really great for the wind. 
And then we step in, after I do this one, uh, infrared, black and white. That's why the leaves, by the way, are white, is because it's infrared. Uh, if this was just turned black and white from a normal image, this would look kind of gray or black, because leaves are green. That's almost to that kind of like that darker shade. But infrared, they turn white. All right, now again, family portraits. Again, one of the most important parts of the entire wedding. Uh, we don't need a lot of time, but we need at least a few minutes to shoot each family. So we got here, we got the, uh, the groom side, the bride side, entire family. Look how huge their families are. A lot of little kids, a lot of individual families. And what's not shown in the book is I actually do shoot some of those individual families as well. But look at how great everybody looks. They're all positioned comfortably. They look comfortable. They look natural. Nobody looks bigger or smaller. Right, They're, everyone's lit evenly. We got nice, great skin tones, beautiful eyes, all the way across, and not, none of that's fake. Both sides of the family, all the kids look great. Everyone's smiling, everyone's laughing, because I have some goofy tricks <laughs> that I've just picked up over the years to get kids who don't know me to totally smile and laugh. Shots of the parents up here. And now the reception starts. And beautiful, great big spread of the ceiling. Uh, so you, when you walk in this place, this is, this is the ceiling you see, and it's such a great, gorgeous ceiling, mixed with some, some kind of storytelling images of the table settings and the kids. They had some nieces and nephews singing. And some of the highlights of the events, like the groom singing to the bride, dancing with the bride, cutting of the cake. And you'll notice here in this third image here, they're starting to cut, it, or cut the uh, cake. Look at the third image here, that knife broke. <laughs> Dang it. But that makes a really fun image in this book still to have that, that broken knife there. And then uh, feeding each other. Really pretty cake, by the way. I love that cake. And then taking them outside for just a few images in twilight. Again, a really difficult time of day to light. Natural light, this wouldn't work. If you're just shooting natural light, you would have to use a bunch of filters or something to try to make this salvageable. But instead, what do you get? They look great. The temple looks great. The sky looks great. You got all these levels of dimension. And notice how the sun is setting between the two images. It actually changes a little bit. You got them looking at each other and smiling and kissing. And the sun's changing slightly as that sun's starting to just kind of light up the sky before it drops out completely. And then ending the book with one really pretty, just awesome panorama of that gorgeous temple at sunset. So there you go. All my weddings include books. This is my storytelling book. Uh, starts like the bronze collection and up. All of these weddings include albums like this. So if you're getting married and you would like some amazing images without excuse, no matter what time of lighting, no matter what, you're gonna look amazing, give me a call. Uh, my website is my name, Brycox, B-R-Y-C-O-X.com. My phone number's there, give me a call and let's talk more about your beautiful wedding day.